Back to the headquarters. Game Nation, Friday Locals, me and Milano, let's go. Yo, everyone, you're gonna lose today. Even Not world, you. Not even world champion Ryan False. and world Yu-Gi-Oh duelist Milano. False. False. I'm winning this whole tournament, bro. Okay, me and Milano will win the whole tournament. Yeah. Knox for damn sure losing. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Holy shit! Yeah, I do. But you should probably lay off, boy. You're getting a little chubby. <laughs> That's not your shit because I told them I'm gonna travel to Montreal on Sunday to beat some French Canadians up in Yu-Gi-Oh! And then tell I'm telling them I'm the best player in Canada, etc. And they're just laughing. We'll see who's laughing when I come home with a double OTS case turny. Yo, so so should I play 40, 50, or 60 today? 60. 60. Okay, sounds good. Guys, I'm ready for our deck. Our deck, we won at one yesterday. You guys saw the vlog, it's, it's up now. You guys go watch if you have it. Uh, we're preparing, we're going to Montreal tomorrow. Uh, the day after, actually, to win. There's a double case tournament in Montreal, I'm gonna win it all. And I'm gonna use this exactly like we're using today's. At the moment, we're one for one in championships with our deck. Let's see if today will be two for two. Cause you know for damn sure, Montreal will be three for three. Let's go. First round's up, me versus Cameron. Cameron, are you gonna win? Ah, let's go, you heard it there, Cameron. Oh, Sean, you're too animated. Sean is too animated. Sean, oh, you heard that, Sean. You gotta take that, Sean. You gotta reach the next one Friday. And get the revenge, let's go. Locals is back. Let's go. Daily vlogs. It's your boy. We are back at it. We're pranking today. Our we did not have any way to chain block the Lampsies. Uh we break here, but that's all good. Do I know why you never break if you're having a great time with your boys, baby? Let's go. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I hope you guys are all having having amazing eyes because those amazing eyes could look at these amazing play mats. Oh my goodness. Look at that magician bot. Oh, baby. Guys, let you guys know right now. Okay, right now. Two months from now, the very first Triff Gaming deck box is going to be released and is literally going to be the magician. You see that the magician art and the Lich art? I want to pick these two for today because we're going to be putting these two into absolutely beautiful deck boxes. And I'm so excited to bring it to you guys. It's going to arrive in a little bit. Two months or so. So I don't know. No, no orders, no pre orders, but. Letting you guys know that when it arrives, it's going to be absolutely fucking beautiful. Like, I, oh my god. Absolutely beautiful. Leather deck boxes with this artwork. Oh my goodness. Here we end up losing. Uh, man. We had no way to chain block. And uh, when you don't have a way to chain block the prank kids, you get absolutely obliterated by Ash Blossom. Uh, one benefit of the prank kids is that once you can get past or chain block the first Ash Blossom or Gamma on the first prank kid, you're, it's actually smooth sailing from there. You get so much free advantage. That you're good i take off my jacket uh and i'm like time to put on some super hot fire let's go i'm not glass jacket shirt man i am pen man prank it man let's go chain block there and the sec second last chain block the duel's over uh for those that are new to the channel make sure to smash the subscribe button make sure to go check out the playmats down below on tripgaming.com get more playmats like this and make sure to check out the patreon so you guys could learn every single deck and uh cool tricks uh, there have no bit there have been no patreon uploads for the last three days because i'm working on something amazing for patreon for all the patrons just so you're aware but anyways we're gonna go back here we're gonna go into that one i don't even know what prank kids names are yet i just call them by their color uh like the green one the blue one the red one and that's the the, the fire one the fire link one i literally don't even know any of their names yet and i'm still misplaying but i'm still winning it's hilarious this deck allows you to make so many misplays and still win like it's absurd uh Eagles Lightning Storm doesn't matter. We have pen, uh, that set up over there. Uh, I still don't know what which uh, when you fusion summon, which three do you bring out? I still don't know. I just bring out the one's highest defense so he can't clear it by battle. I think they're all protected by effects. Uh, so he's going to summon some live twin stuff. I'm just going to pop all that. Uh, so yeah, see you later. We're going to hop on to game number three, baby. Frank, this is a really good deck, man. It like We won the last tournament with it. We went undefeated uh, yesterday's locals with this. For those that missed it, make sure to go check that out. Like, this deck's insane, bro. Like, I literally have never summoned a prank kid in my life. I made, like, three misplays for the last video, last vlog. And I still won. Undefeated. Like, this deck allows you to make mistakes and still win. And one thing I really like about prank kids is that it basically dodges Valor and Imperm. Like, those hand traps are in everyone's deck right now. And th that's really good for us, right? Like, it's very powerful for us. Uh, so he goes into... Uh, this play over here, I have Gamma. I'm saving Gamma for the Link Summon. I wanted him to waste one more card in his hand or like uh, the, the thing, I uh, Gamma that. 
and uh, he's gonna set two here and yeah my head's fucking absurd uh i think i had souls too and if i see no i saw no ash blossom the first kid resolves i knew it was over uh so i go dodo uh that's only what i know uh and get these out search these out i do not search with dodo because he has a card in graveyard that draws one and you do not want him to draw into an ibiru so i'm purposely playing around this in the way where i don't need to have that i hard drew pranks so it makes this easier uh i did bring up relinquish anima which is a really cool thing about this deck we have to be able to climb up the charmer uh, that's charmer and a unicorn and i win there so we are 1-0 charmer selene access code easy access to victory baby let's go let's go 1-0 let's go guys we came on top lost game one but we pulled through that was spicy as hell you guys saw mass change in there but we dodged a dark lot let's go uh on to the next round now 1-0 about to be 2-0 let's go we are facing off against mermails what a blast from the past bro we are definitely hitting with Devo Valor, no doubt about it and looks like we're about to get hit with moon glacier bro so he's summoning out some stuff. I have a ghost ogre in my hand. I'm waiting, waiting very patient, patiently. I knew that was coming. The water. The second that water came down, I ghost ogre. I knew it was at seven waters instead of five. Ah, let's go. No more glacier today, my friend. Uh, he's gonna set up the the link two guy. He's gonna set up the spell negate. And I summon place instantly negates souls draw. Of course, I'm gonna draw into a prank kid. I'm the prank god now, baby. Let's go. I don't even know what they do, but you don't need to know what they do. This deck allows you to still be solid. Uh, but yeah, that got hit with infantry. I had no other play. <laughs> Might be a prank kid god, but still not enough to win. Damn, it's all good though. It's all good. We're gonna win this grind game, baby. That's all that matters. We're gonna draw right right now and right ourselves to victory, baby. Let's go. Summon prank kid. That one resolves. I'm like, all right, GG. Pleasure dueling, my friend. Uh, I make a massive misplay here. Okay, I had no idea what the uh, this shit sends a card from deck to grave when it's destroyed. I thought it only special summon from the grave. I didn't know it sent from deck to grave as well. So he's gonna witness like the biggest stupidest play in the history of mankind absolutely unbelievable i literally attack with bow bow and that shit fucking kills my bow bow making it so i don't have pandemonium <laughs> so i can't summon butler i'm like bro that's i'm so fucking stupid i didn't know that well i'm a genius i'm not stupid i'm a maybe like nobel prize winning genius but absolutely stupid play but that's fine uh, because what's what this deck really doing at this point i summon out uh, that fusion i summon out the whole field can't be destroyed by battle and card effects i get multiple value before gaios comes out i'm like we lit nothing could be destroyed by battle nothing can be destroyed by effects we lit baby at this case uh he's gonna go into abyss gaios he's gonna enter battle do some damage and drop zeus massive misplay for my opponent he doesn't go end phase he goes main phase two zeus effect i hit him with valor I'm like, oh, that was close. Uh, then he goes Unicorn after that to spin the Dodo because Dodo obviously will give me so much value here. And uh, that's just not going to be enough uh, because obviously I have double link. And when two of those link gets linked, it's, it's game over. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just we're going to win this one. We are we are 2-0 right now. Uh, we have two more. We, this is a five round tournament. So we have three more to go. Uh, total record prank is a 6-0 right now. Haven't lost yet. Let's keep it going, boys. I have a firm belief in this deck. I really do think this deck is amazing. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of the way. I'll see you guys at the next duel. Solid round there. At the moment, we are 2-0 in the tournament. Had to stop because we finished that pretty fast for my favorite snack, some shawarma fries. You already know what it is. Every time we're at Game Nation, we got to get some shawarma fries. Every time we're at downtown 401, we got to get some uh, Korean Grill House. As for Game Nation, always shawarma fries. Absolutely delicious. We're 2-0, about to be 3-0. Hot. I'll see you guys inside for the next round. Am I the only one who hates eating hot food? Yeah. What? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. No, like hot food, like you have to like wait a bit, like. Yes. But like, yes. if it's not hot, you are. You are. If it's you are. if it's not like hot, no, and if no, it's no, just no, like no. maybe normal or lukewarm, you, you could like devour it like the animal that you are, you know. Huh? But if it's hot, it's like. No, there's no way there's a problem. Is that a bad take? Yes. I won. I You've never had like a home cooked meal that was like fresh off the stove or something? Do you just like sit there and like, you know? 10 to 1 people. I stand by what I said. I double down on my take. I don't like hot food. I double down. 
Yeah. Normal people, you can yes. Throw that at the wall and you have a bench in it at that point. <laughs> oh, you can't box them. That was really delicious. Yo, boys, what should we do for the rest of the day today? So, one of my boys that I've been flopping on for a while in, uh, because of Yu Gi Oh! Uh, he wants to go for Shisha, and I haven't gone for a while. I don't really care for Shisha, but. Yo, boys, what do you think? What should I do? So, so one of my boys, I've been flopping on for way too long. The shisha. But Shisha's like, whatever. But then, there's here's the other option. The other option is to test Yu Gi Oh! at my house with Sean and Tino. Yu Gi Oh! is never the right answer. <laughs> What would you say, Mark? Um, Ra World Champion Ryan Yu says that it's uh, Yu Gi Oh's never the answer. As far as this, I like, like, I agree. like I agree. arguing thing, you agree? Uh, I double down again. You're both wrong. Yu Gi Oh all night, baby. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Ah, next round. Next round is up. We are going up. We are gonna put up some of the gates. We are gonna win. Let's go. Uh, I'm facing a very cool deck here actually that I think is very good this format ghost spell Oh my that ghost spell fucking destroyed us bro literally destroyed us, but that's fine uh, We're gonna go into rocket ride here. We're gonna set uh, Just set this up. So we have amazing follow-up here uh, We're gonna I'm just debating which ones I want to summon out. I use that I knew I wanted to use that in draw phase arguably could have left it on the field I didn't want no fuckery going on. I want to make sure I get my follow-ups uh, he goes into Hayate I imperm that uh, I shouldn't have imperm that I probably should have let him But I just didn't want to have a, a good sky striker in the graveyard for the rest of the duel But I should have let him And I just I could have just saved that for Kagari uh, follow up But that's fine He has DPE Things are, are, are not looking good for me right now I summon the fanzies Luckily he does not pop it And now I'm good Now I'm solid Now that, that, that he didn't, the D, DPE I, I assume he thought Meow Meow was in my uh uh, extra deck and now we're safe because once you get link to like it, it's amazing I dark hoping that he like pops it. I want like this is kind of like my bait at the moment I'm like come on use it use it. I go nightmare unicorn here I uh, should have probably hit the set and then go into access code to let him DP the access code got new activation destiny I definitely should have got in that set uh, But that's fine. I set up these two now and uh, Yeah, he had droplets didn't matter uh, droplet didn't get much value anyways and then I'm gonna end up killing the Shizuku and uh, it's all good in the hood. Pranks is gonna put in serious work right now. We came back from that and uh, now it's a DPE battle, but he does have Celestial draw too. I have to hope he does not get into Ray. And uh, when you or not, when we're playing on both the Triff Gaming play mats on TriffGaming.com down below, of course I'm not gonna let him draw Ray. What the heck? With Look at Celestial and Wisdom Eye and Harmonizing and Purple Poison Double Iris. They are cheering me on here. They know I'm not playing Pendulum. They know I'm playing Pranks. But they know I'm the Panga, baby. So they know for damn sure if I don't want my opponent to draw a Sky Striker Ray, he will not draw a Sky Striker Ray. Very simple. Uh, here, I'm just, I have souls in my hand, but I don't, don't want to send the pranks. I try and get, I keep trying to get as much value as possible from the pranks. And I want to recycle as much of my engine as possible. That way, the second I draw one prank kit, it's just game over. And I recognize he has Ray, but if he draws Ray, but I, 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 that doesn't kill me. So that's totally fine. Uh, he summons an Aquamantris, uh, puts me on a one turn clock. I'm like, dude, this has been so many turns of not drawing prank gates. I'm definitely seeing one right now. And then uh, I just trigger Dasher. I'm like, let's just resolve my draw two here. And that's just game. There's no way I can lose this one. And uh, yeah, that's game. I just, Selene Axis Code was game. I revealed Selene Axis Code in my extra deck. And uh, it's something I'm telling you that this prank kit deck needs to play is one Dark, one Selene, one Axis Code. I'm telling you, it helps you kill so much easier. I'm even debating playing Needle Fiber because it, and a second Charmer because if you could take like if you could play Lina, maybe play some extra deck card to make lights easy because it's difficult to make lights in this deck. Whether it be a Nibiru token or Nibiru or whatever, take a Tuner and then uh, with those two you make thing or you take Hita to take their Ash and then make Needle Fiber and go Baylor to the Axis Code. Killing them going second is a very important thing in this deck. And Axis Code at 5300 and a DPE is 7,800 with Lampsy's 500 damage. That's 8,300. That's very important to be able to pull that off. All right, we we'll I pull off the crazy fucking Fusion Destiny in hand. Amazing, literally the craziest extender in Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Charge level right there. And now I'm gonna set this up. I just set up the area a bit. He goes Cosmic on that. I'm like, that's fine. Uh, it's another battle of the D of the. I love this setup here where it's like DPE versus like one or two cards. And now at this point, I draw two. I'm like, all right, it's over. GG. I drew right of Amis here. He has no follow up. Uh, he's at 6,000 damage, 6,000 life points. 
So I'm like, that's cool. I'm going to access code you right now. Uh, clear your token. I'm going to clear your field spell. I'm going to clear your monster in the field. Uh, I'm going to put you at 700 life points and I'm going to have a DPE. We're both going to have DPE battles. Uh, no, his DP is gone, I believe, right? Yeah, his DP is gone. I'm like, that's just so much more. Uh, yeah, I can't lose this. Especially, yeah, there's no way I lose this. And I won. So let's go. We're 3-0. Let's make it 4-0. Oh, let's go, boys. Let's go. Two more rounds to go, guys. We got to win. 3-0 uh, right now. Yo, Ryan, do we have your blessing to win today? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. We got this. Round four. There's two XOs right now. Me and Milano. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know me. You know me. I got my... Let's go. Zap, bro. Oh. Now I gotta dust Steven, man. Oh, oh we'll see about that. But yo, Let's see it, bro. This is for the win. Best of luck, bro. Yo, can we do it? Can we do a whoever is better match for the win? Okay, whoever's better match. So the winner match. of this okay. match is officially better. Anytime All right, someone asks, yeah, they're better, bro. Someone Sounds good. Let's, Let's run it. it. Let's go. Let's do this, boys. Round number four against Milano. We can't lose. We gotta win for all the duel night. This is the finals right here, boys. This is the finals. Winner takes all. Well, it's not the finals, but it's the finals in our head. We're going to win this game no matter what. We summon out Lampsies. We lose to Ash, sadly, but that's fine. We didn't have... The thing with Prank Kids is it does lose to Ash if you don't have it chain blocked. But typically, we do have a lot of ways to chain block it, so it's totally fine. He Valors the Dodo. I'm like, all right, that's solid. I got to figure out a way now to still put up Butler. And I'm thinking in my head how to do this. Instant Fusion. Boom. Butler, welcome back, pal. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Instant Fusion, when it resolves, is amazing. But, like... I do think instant fusion at the end of the day just does sometimes just serve as like you know just an ex like without prank kids it sucks but with prank kids it's absolutely amazing now i don't know what that card does okay yeah just battle and attack so i'm like that's interesting i go pandemonium i'm gonna summon a butler i'm going to bring out all these monsters i'm gonna burn him for more damage and uh now at this point i just can't lose i don't know what this card does i don't know what this card does the the, the scent or whatever not the sense fucking i don't know I go to my unicorn to shuffle it back and then he uses the effect to pop it. I'm like, bro, fuck, I can't even ask code now. I had no idea what that shit did, bro. I had no idea what the card did. I'm like, bro, I literally fumbled the bag so hard. Uh, I'm going to he special. He, he summons that out, summons that out. I'm like, all right, let's pop both of those. I like, ash the effect this, but bring back on this game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One. Oh, yeah, my hand was absurd. Like, you guys see how amazing that is? Like, the follow up. Like, it's not even just that you're getting a double regeki with the battle butler. You're actually getting double regeki, and then you're getting three monsters on the field for fucking free. <laughs> like, are you like, what? That's absurd, boys. That is honestly absurd. Uh, so here he's going to go into uh, Verte, uh, Verte and hand traps. Uh, Verte and two, two sets. I'm assuming Imprim Chalice, something like that. I brick, bro. I drew five, five fucking prank kids. Seeing five prank kids like this, I'm like, y'all see that hand? Seeing that trash, I'm like, all right, bro. We got to, like, maybe fix the ratios to not play so many prank kids. But I'm not playing a lot of prank kids. They're not, we're not playing a prank kid deck, guys. We're playing prank kids as the sole. They're just, like, a normal summon of the deck. But we're playing so many extenders. I believe the count I'm playing right now is a 60-card deck. But I'm playing 15 prank kids in, six, uh, in 60. Which is, the like, somewhat the same as, like, 12 and... 12 and not 12, Like, somewhat, like, 11 and 40, I think. Maybe 12 and 40. No, 60 is the kind of the equivalent of like 10. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so after this, I actually switched the deck down to 50 after the tournament, obviously. And I, I'm playing 12 prank kids at the moment. 13 prank kids, but I think I'm going to cut 13 and 50. But I might cut the 13 down to 12. When I played 12, I didn't see. There's a few games I didn't see it. But you do want to at least see one. You want to see one for sure. Opening two is fine. Opening five is an issue. Remember, Roxy's had to banish something. And then here, yeah, there's just no way that I, I could lose this one in this scenario. Uh, with this setup, it's impossible. Uh, I get I have six cards in my hand. I mean, I have seven cards on the field. I have double Regeki set up. Dark Hole, I'm going to have to protect that. Uh, guys, and it's just, I can't, I can't lose this one, right? Uh, he's going to summon uh, these out. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. He's going to summon, I'm going to Ash a Goki Pole. And uh, he's going to bring this one out as B Trooper. I'm like, that's fine. Uh, I still have like a full hand here. We're, we're totally fine. Uh, and then uh, that's just game. We win. Um, prank best deck after pendulum, perhaps smash the subscribe button. Go on P Patreon right now. Get the play match right now. Let's go, boys. That, that's it, fam. Yo, Milano, so you uh, said uh, that match was a whoever's better match. Unfortunately, I got to say, Steven, you're uh, way more of a supreme duelist than I am, man. You're just 
really know how to utilize your effects, man. You really know how to play your deck, and you know that's so. Uh, you know, you really are a formidable duelist, and I have to admit that. You know, like congratulations, bro. You Thanks, are bro. The yeah. Thanks, bro. That's we'll mine for now. But hey, next time we play on Duel Night, yeah, we'll we'll run it back. Whoever's better match. Yeah, hopefully. Bro. Let's go, Atino. You're lucky you didn't play today, because Milano told me that if you guys played, he would have dusted you 3-0. <laughs> that means, you know, you're going to need to get your revenge. Next time you guys play, you have to destroy him. <laughs> Milano has never faced me before. No, I don't think we played ever. Never? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. He's lucky he hasn't fed the he stage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this shit talk, boys. Let's go. My guy out here playing with yo. You want to use my map, bro? Yeah, it's a little, a little late now, but it's a little, like after you think, yeah, yeah, you take yeah. mine freely if you want, bro. Next game, bro. Next game. Um, I do. So let me get this straight. So you're gonna buy a trip play map? She didn't the world buy a trip play map. Yes. Let's go, boys. Get yours now. You want it to get it because it looks beautiful, right? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It's amazing, guys. Get yours now. Two bucks. Who oh, the fuck plays speed nice. duel? Yeah, because we're fast. I think we're the only XO right now. Yo, we look back. We played great today, with the exception of that fucking misplay. Holy shit. I thought I saw a drop season in the grave. It was aqua matches to some shit. I don't know. But not aqua matches. I don't know. Dude, my eyesight is ass. But it is what it is. We gotta we gotta wear glasses while we do all the YCS. So guys, we're 8-0 right now in the last eight only eight games we played with prank kids. Is this our deck? Sorry, we haven't lost yet in a tournament with this deck. We'll have to see. Oh my god, it's convenience calls. Bruh. I was literally just about to get some sour patch after seeing Tubby knock eat some. And they fucking closed the convenience store. Bruh, that's a fucking letdown. Bro, there's no convenience stores nearby. Is this God telling me to stop being fat? Or is this God telling me to try harder to find another convenience store? Bro, that is an actual fucking letdown. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding? Oh, of course. And a, a, a good life is right there. Oh my God, God's telling me to stop being fat. Full we'll letdown. But you know what? It's fine. Because we won't let our deck down. That's for sure. Let's go. There's always that one person in minus 20 degree weather wearing shorts. Uh, we're just going to get some bubble tea instead. That should suffice. I wanted some Sour Patch, but bubble tea will suffice from shot time. Let's go. Shout out to all my bubble tea peoples. You play? Yeah. You XO? Oh, oh shit. So we're up right now, me versus Victor. Let's go. Last round against Victor. We are 4-0. Let's go. We go Aquamantris, set up right of Aramisier. Prank is plays. Oof. Let's go. Ah, beautiful. When you have this set up with hand traps, can't lose. Nibiru Valor. He, so we hit, get hit with Nibiru Valor, right? Don't care. Prep of rights. Souls, draw two. Souls breaks his deck, bro. Souls draw. I have four cards in my hand, bro. There are three hand traps. Holy shit. I have one for one even. I could have extended a little more. I'm like, nah, let's just save that. For next turn, we have DP and three hand traps. Through, through two hand traps. Through a uh, Nib Valor. Oh my god. Like, that's absurd, bro. That's absurd. Pop the safe ready passes. Uh, this is where I'm like, I really want to play Needle Fiber if I just normal summon and then go for Needle Fiber. I go Dark as attack for game. Like, that's fine. <laughs> Let's go. We get him one extra turn, but that's not, not, not enough to stop this deck. The deck's absolutely amazing, guys. Seriously. Like, we're 8 Oh, We only played 8 games. I don't even know how to play the deck properly. And we're literally 8-0. Eight, eight matches. Like, bro, this is really good. Uh, we'll see how it goes for today's tournament. Today's tournament, we're going Saturday Locals, Game Nation. You already know what it is. Uh, Asha Chaos Space. Uh, Victor brings up, oh, you're not scared of Gamma. And I'm like, you know what, guys? Sometimes you just got to take the risk. I go Ogre, the boot sector, Ash of Chaos Space, we're good. And of course, you already know me, bro. I have fucking, of course, I have full combo. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah, it's important. Guys, Chaos Space, you can't let that shit resolve. Even against the risk of, of, of Gamma, doesn't matter. You cannot let that shit resolve. That shit is too powerful. So you just cannot let that resolve. Uh, so in this a situation, I put up pranks. Uh, Pranks is gonna get Ghost Ogre sadly. I'm like, fuck. That's a, that's a really bad L for us, but we hard drew Fusion Destiny because we're insane. So it's all good. Uh, so I attack. I'm like, all right, let's set this up for next turn. Uh, next turn, I'll, I'll be solid. Next turn, I'm gonna have a solid setup and uh, we should be able to win this game. I make a slight misplay, not popping my field spell. You're gonna witness me. Summon Tracer. Summons that. I pop the, the Tracer. Uh, I pop my Dropsies, uh, but I should have popped the place. Uh, you'll see why in a bit. Uh, he, he sets up a solid play. He's going to end up uh, doing some practice stuff. He's, I had to ash that as well. 
because uh, uh yeah it's too much value cast base i like, guess fine uh he's gonna have a draw one and the only draw he could get was fucking boot uh quick launch and he fucking had quick launch i'm like damn bro that's the only card to save you that's insane that's insane but that's fine that's fine so he's gonna set up chaos ruler uh gets red md he's gonna end up putting up savage dragon with uh double negate which is really good because he's gonna be able to enter battle kill the dpe and then negate the effect of dpe in the graveyard so that alone just makes it so the dp does not come back but between celestial and dasher don't think that really matters you know i don't think that really matters um so he's gonna set that up he couldn't quad board because obviously he needs a rocket so he's gonna summon that one instead and uh, i'm i'm chilling i'm chilling i i little i know dasher just summon, summons any monster i win i drew imperm i can't use imperm with that so i just set the imperm and pass uh i'm going to he's gonna enter battle attack for like 3500 I draw and then I draw into a monster. I know it's over. I just normal summon that. I have imperm, uh, so it, it's over. Really good shanima. It doesn't matter. Just climb up to Selene Axis code. Let's go. Bye, oh undefeated, baby. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Another victory in the book. Bye, oh Yeah. Let's go. Jeez. Let's go, boys. Guys, this is according to my calculations. Okay, we played Sword Soul, uh, DD, Zephyr, etc. We ended up with some trash ass record, like fucking twenty and ten or something. Okay. Then we play Cybers L Lich. Two tournaments. We were, I think, four, three, two, and four, one. That's seven and three. Prank Kids. Two tournaments, nine, oh. Triff Math, baby. That just has to be the better meta choice between them all. On top of that, I've misplayed multiple times, minor misplays, because I don't know what the fuck the deck does. And we're still nine, oh. So that must show that the deck's actually really good. Tomorrow, I'll be taking this to a tournament locally, as well as to Montreal for a massive case tournament. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm probably going to rock with this deck. Yo, Ryan, do I rock with 50 or 60 for the OTS, the, the case tourney? Did you win? Ah, I did, yeah. Boy, I don't think I cut it to 45. It's... It's 50 or 60. It should be, it should be ah, world champion. Well, guess what, Ryan? When it's all said and done, all I've worked world championships than you. Because you'll have two, because you're going to get one more. And I'll have like five. 60 it is. Actually, I think 50. We'll see. Whatever we feel like. <laughs> Why baby? Let's go. The boys are gonna come over to my crib now. We're gonna play some more Yu-Gi-Oh, some more testing, and I'm probably gonna edit my dubs. But they won't be much editing needed. Well, wow, yeah, we're all gonna do it. Play a bit. Maybe I'll bust out the pendulum. Five-zero, boys. Let's go. Make it nine-zero. Cause that's two thirties. We won. What we're gonna do it now. Our night's not over yet, boys. It's Friday night. I was supposed to go to Shisha with one of my boys, but I ended up flopping with my friend so I could hang out with some of my other friends, my Yu-Gi-Oh friends. So now we're actually going to go to my house and we're going to play some Yu-Gi-Oh at my house. It's going to be me, Milano, my friend Tino, and my friend Mark. So we'll see you guys there. Yu-Gi-Oh after hours at the Triff residence. Let's go. Yu-Gi-Oh after dark. Let's go, boys. Shots. Shot, 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 <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers, man. Prank it, best deck. Uh, okay, I'll fucking play. Cheers, Superior Duelist. Amazing. We nah. out here every day. This is what true being a true duelist is all about. <laughs> this game one, I, all I open is map and like map plus cross out. And he opens fucking, uh, what is it? What are you, what, 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 what? Oh, you oh, let my, you let my map, you let my I, map go through and then he went ogre. And then I went just so everyone it. knows, it's the DD map, not the flunder map. Just before anyone. Yeah, before uh, any <laughs> wasted. Right, if you let my map go through, I, I normal cut play because it's my only play. I get contract, I contract, he goes ogre, I go chain crossbow, he goes lion's head, I'm like, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> get to, get to, I open Ash, Ash, Swirl Slime, Swirl Slime, Griffin, and I'm like, I, I just can't play through a DBE. Listen, oh, DBE ogre, that's the power of VTubers. When your deck is on your side and you believe in the yes. heart of the card, Let's go. <laughs> you will achieve it. anything. <laughs> if you play your favorite strategy and have fun the whole very time, bro, yes. you, will, you will play like a god. Yes. You know what I'm saying, bro? 4-1 with the freaking B Troopers, bro. Come on, Let's man. go. Come on. 4-1 then, and you're 4-0 at the trip locals right now. Yeah, shit, I might. Shit, I might. <laughs> Let the people is see Milano's hand. Yo. Where is he? He's let's go. Construction company. Hand is insane. Nice. Yo, Dino, let's see your hand. The people want to see your hand. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one, folks. 
I'm like, I got my money on me. <laughs> I can't say who I got my money on, but I know in my head who I got my money on. Hi right, guys, so earlier I, I had a potentially really bad take when I said really hot food is bad because you can't like do, gobble it up and everyone roasted me for it. I just had a worse, I heard a worse take. So Mark over here just said that Scythe, he just said Scythe is amazing for the format. Amazing. I just think that like it's forcing everyone to play hand traps. That that means everyone can play like a deck they want, right? Like imagine if you couldn't be able to play what you want. Like, like it gives you options, right? You know what? Because like if Yo. it's not in the format, right? Everyone's playing Dark Ruler no more. Dark Ruler, Droplets, all that shit, like like nuts on you. If you're playing a combo deck, you just lose automatically. You know what? I actually kinda agree with this take. A little bit. Like Scythe sucks. Everyone hates Scythe. Hey, like, but the worst it, it, format, it but, forces like, everyone. You know, you can, it forces everyone to play head You get it? I hate Scythe. I fucking hate this card. But it does. Scythe bad. Scythe <laughs> bad. <laughs> it does force everyone to play hand traps. It forces everyone to play hand traps. Oh. Yeah, which that's actually a pretty. So that's a solid take. Okay. That's like a solid it, take. unless that's you solid take. play a deck, right? But like if if, if like. Yeah, it's so not a part of the format, and the cards like Dark Ruler are just so oppressive. Okay. What, what's your DP doing? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So on Sunday, guys, there's a massive tournament in wow, Montreal. So but Mark doesn't want to go. Mark doesn't want to go because he's busy and he's too cold for us. What do you mean? And Tino says, Mark, you're going. There's no other option. <laughs> Mark, are you going? Oh, Ma Tino, bro, tell him, bro. <laughs> it does, bro. This is all I've been, bro. I've been doing this every day, bro. All day. No. Oh my god. Thinking, bro. Thinking. Killing you, bro. You're gonna pop the Zeus. Oh, you're gonna get access golden, my boy. You're dead. <laughs> Guys, I have an announcement to make. Prank is best deck, baby. Pen sucks, but it's April Fools, baby. No, Prank it sucks. It's not April Fools. You don't need to know that. <laughs>